It was a tragic end to what was supposed to be a relaxing beach vacation in the Bahamas for these American couples. Now three people have mysteriously died. One is in critical condition. Authorities are investigating, but as Jim Murray reports, suspicion is being cast toward the resort's air conditioners. Was it the air conditioner? That's a major theory after the deaths of three Americans at a resort in the Bahamas. Mystery in paradise. A scary story out of the Bahamas. Vincent and Donis Chiarella were celebrating their 40th wedding anniversary at Sandals Emerald Bay in the Bahamas. 64-year-old Vincent was found sprawled out on the floor of the villa he and his wife were staying in. His ailing wife was found on the bed. Donis woke up feeling paralyzed. Paralyzed? Paralyzed is what was reported to us. Um, couldn't move, said her arms and her legs were swollen um, and that she could see Vince laying in the floor. Donis was airlifted to a Miami hospital. Her brother is quoted as saying, when they got to the hotel, the air conditioner wasn't working. Staff were working on it every day. He says his sister is covered in rashes. The other two victims were identified today as Robbie and Michael Phillips, married travel agents. Bahamian authorities say the other two victims went to a local clinic complaining of nausea and vomiting. They were treated and returned to their hotel. The next morning, police say they were found dead with signs of having had convulsions. Another American staying at Sandals posted this on Facebook. It sounds like it may have been a fault with the AC in the unit, causing a toxic coolant leak. These honeymooners just arrived at the resort. It definitely gives me a cause for concern just because you want to know what happened. Pathologist Dr. Priya Banerjee. So you look to the environment, perhaps the air itself? Definitely. In a tropical place, you think the air conditioner, um, exhaust vent. Uh, so anything from like a gas leak, carbon monoxide, I think the Freon has been potentially implicated. In a statement, Sandals Resort said they're working with authorities and with the guest families.